What started as a barrel and a dream became more of a reality when this stock blank arrived on my doorstep. The roughed out blank was covered in cardboard for shipping, but still maintained its long rifle profile in transit, which seemed almost comical sitting there on my doorstep at the time. I didn't have all the answers, but I had some help along the way. Recreating the North American long rifle, which is written by Bouchel and Shumway, was a start, along with the actual blueprints of a Golden Age rifle. These were left to me along with a 15 16th swamp barrel that all had belonged to my grandpa. I knew I needed tools next. After watching the Golden Mean Flintlocks video series on this platform, I gained the confidence that I could do this by hand with minimal tools. I didn't have quick access to machines, though all I had to do was pick up the phone and make a call if I wanted to, but that wasn't the route I wanted to take. I scoured antique shops for odds and ends and ended up picking up this antique saw out of a bucket of saws. I checked this one for straightness and sharpness. It fit the bill just fine. My old man also gave me a bunch of tools which I desperately needed. The outcome of the build depended on it and he was gracious enough to support my bad habits. I owe my understanding of wood and finish to him as well as these gifted tools. He and I both have used these tools since I was a kid, so this was very special to me. It added a certain amount of confidence. It took me roughly four hours to cut this hard maple out by hand, what would have taken all about, I don't know, a minute using a bandsaw. Once the stock is rough cut, you can really see that classic long rifle profile come to shape. One thing I did was mark the end of the belly and the end of the belly is determined by your breech plug um, where your breech plug stops in the barrel there's my breech plug line so i put the tip of the bit at the line on top and then got my 11 and a and a half inch mark there so just like that and then i know where to stop So far guys, I'm just taking my time, I'm listening to the bit cut, and it starts to, you can hear a little bit of a draggy kind of squeak when the, uh, when the wood chips in there get to be a little bit much, 
But I mean, you can see I am just going so slow. And I'm praying. And, uh, you know, Jesus was a carpenter. He totally understands my dilemma right now. But uh, this is one of those things where, you know, it's almost therapeutic. You're, you're just getting in a rhythm. And it can almost lull you into not paying attention. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to stop talking here in a second because I'm really using my ears to listen to the cut of that bit. And I'm, I'm just taking my time here. All right. We can see my 11 and a half inch mark. We've got about seven and a half inches to go. Just taking my time and I think it's almost nine o'clock right now at night so I'm doing pretty good I'm pretty good guys we are on the home stretch and we've got about half an inch to go and that's done so it should be pretty much one more pass and uh, nothing's come out of the bottom, nothing's come out of the top, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Fingers crossed for this last half an inch. And uh, just to kind of show you my setup, it's not great. Everything's level though, I've got it wedged at this end to support the uh, hand drill. And then I've got it clamped here with a piece of wood scrap on the bottom and top. And uh, starting that bit allowed the end to seat, so when I clamped this, uh, there was no uh, wobbliness. It was just ready to roll. So, we're going to go ahead and do this last half inch and uh, see, see how things look after that. You should be able to see my mark up there. Got a little bit of stuff in the way. That linseed oil really makes the difference. And uh, honestly, having a, an amazing, solid, sharp bit like this, it, it just gave me all the confidence in the world. So here we go. You can probably see my black mark on there, hopefully. These are the last few passes here, if I'm not mistaken. I might have to take it out one more time to clean it, but we'll see.
That's what we want. Mm -hmm. Get the hell out of here. That's crazy. Dead center. Oh my god. <laughs> that is like dead center. <laughs> I can see it.